welcome to day four. Today, we will study about the great faith of Rahab. Our key verse comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 31 which says, By faith, Rahab the prostitute did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. Now the backdrop of this text comes from the book of Joshua, where the people of Israel were coming out of Egypt into the land that the Lord had promised them. Joshua, who was leading the people of Israel, he sends two spies into the city of Jericho and they entered the house of a prostitute named Rahab. Now when the king of Jericho found out about the men of Israel who were in the house of Rahab, sent word to Rahab asking her to bring these men out. Rahab, instead of listening to what the king asked them to do, she chose to hide these men on the rooftop and then help these men escape out of Jericho. Now why would Rahab take such a decision and risk everything? The book of Joshua chapter 2 verses 9 through to 21 gives us some answers but verse 11 encapsulates the mood in Jericho. The first part says, And as soon as we heard it, our hearts melted, and there was no spirit left in any man because of you. Rahab was talking about how when the people of Jericho heard how the Lord was leading the people out of Israel, things such as splitting off the Red Sea so that the people of Israel could pass through, and how that the kings who stood in their way were destroyed. When they heard these things, they had no more courage or physical strength in them because they heard how the Lord was leading the people of Israel. Now, in spite of what, what they heard and how she felt, what gave Rahab immense courage and strength to do what she did? The end of verse 11 gives us our answer where she says, The Lord your God, He is God in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. What does the life of Rahab and this big risk that she took teach us regarding faith and what do we need to apply in our lives today? Number one, it teaches us that when we know who our God is, we can and we will take big risks. Remember, our God is transcendent. Our God is sovereign. Our God is omnipotent. He is omniscient. He is unchanging. He is a faithful God. And the more we know who our God is, the more we will trust God. Now, how do we know more about, of who God is and about His character? The answer is very simple. We just need to keep getting into His Word and applying His Word in our lives. The second thing that the story of Rahab teaches us is that when our courage and when our strength has melted away, it's probably a good time to trust God and in faith take some risks. For many of us, we feel that risks ought to be taken only when we have figured everything out. When we have got all bases covered, when we have factored in the extra margins, when we have somehow understood how the end is going to be because we have thought it through and we have planned it well. Now that's not a bad thing because if we do that, it just means that we are living in wisdom. But here's the thing. In life, there would be many moments and, when, and there would be many seasons where we would feel that we are out of courage and we are out of strength. We are pushed into a corner and there is no way out of a situation. In those moments of despair, we need to learn to trust God, trust His character, trust His word. And in faith, even if it means that we would risk something, we would take risks. The story of Rahab ends with all of the inhabitants of Jericho perishing except Rahab and her family who was saved. You know, as we go through this year, you and I would have different moments and different situations where we feel we are out of courage, we are out of strength, we have no way out. But may we, like Rahab, learn to just put our trust in who God is and hold on to Him. And even if it means that we would take some risks, we would do it anyway because we know that our God is able to save. The great faith of Rahab teaches us that great faith trusts God even at the risk of losing everything. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this great example of faith that you teach us through the life of Rahab. God, as we go through this year, and even if we might come to points in our time where we feel we are out of courage and we are out of strength and we are out of our hope, may we learn to trust who you are 
And even if it means that we would take risks, we would do it in faith because we know that we serve a God who is able to save. Would you increase our faith in Jesus' name? Amen.